Grab a mop. There's gonna be guts on the ceiling. He's basically a parody of, of 1930s um, superheroes, um, Flash Gordon, um, Buck Rogers, that kind of thing, but also with an element of a cartoon side. We just wanted this superhero who was, was very overconfident and believed in himself so much it was ridiculous. Oh, I'm good. I guess if you were to take, say, Duck Dodgers, uh, Powdered Toast Man, and Dirty Harry and like throw them into a blender, you'd come out with Liquid Blasto. He's a cosmic custodian and these aliens are tracking up his floor. I guess that's how you could put it. Hot damn, I'm good! When, when we heard Phil Harmon was going to be, be the voice for Captain Blasto, it was um, a big relief for all of us because he was pretty much our first choice. I'm so good! When we first started developing the character, we'd come up with voices and, and constantly mimic Blasto how we wanted him to sound. And all of us would say, you know, like Phil Hartman. Hot damn, I'm good. I'm back, but this time I brought a friend with me. Let me introduce you to Mr. Fission Blaster. The game basically takes place in a future world where Captain Blasto is protector of, of Earth and the galaxy or at least self-proclaimed protector of the Earth and galaxy. He's warned that Bosk, his nemesis, is up to his old tricks again, plotting to take over the Earth, or at least destroy it, and um, to go and put a stop to it. If this doesn't kill you, I'm yours on a sesame bun! Ouch, I'd say mankind is up crap creek without a spooge hammer, and now I've got to clean it up. You look at our game, and it looks like a cartoon. Uh, it's just, it's like a 3D cartoon, and I don't think there's been the quality animation in a game yet. We decided to have the levels um, work seamlessly with one another, because um, video games that have been done before are always very linear and level-based. We didn't want to do that, we wanted it to be that, you know, he would walk seamlessly from level to level to level and be able to go back. Ooh, now that's gotta hurt! Does a Terrian bat fart propane? Blasto in his initial stage, I don't even think he was human at that point. I was playing around with some different characters, some anamorphic characters. I wanted some sort of a space hero. And that would be fun, something that maybe had the, the feel of, say, Duck Dodgers. Better have a doctor take a look at that one. Because I, I really, really love that stuff. But then eventually tried to work it into more of a humanoid type character. Damn, got you all over my shoe. We felt that the personality and the character could really add a lot to a game that we were wanting to do, which was this 3D roaming free environment. Um, so the three of us, you know, pushed around a few ideas with this personality. I'll take that as a no! <laughs> I'll take that as a no! The main challenge of um, like portraying the artist's vision on the screen was the cartoon sense of the world he wanted to create. And that means the no visible polygons make it look like a cartoon. The technical innovations in Blasto are generally to do with the 3D performance of the game. We've developed a good system for streaming the, the levels from CD constantly on the fly. There's no loading time involved. Uranus is littered with extra crispy bad guys. You might want to send somebody up there to hose the planet down. Either that or have a bake sale. <laughs>